to see polar bears on this trip. I've never seen one. I've done, you know, six trips, um, you know, with last degrees, seven trips to the last degrees, and I've never seen any polar bears. Um, if we did, it would probably be a, something sick or lost, because it's 600 miles from the coast. on the trip, a Norwegian, a Dutch guy, and myself, and the Dutch guy's out in the bathroom. In the bathroom. And uh, I hear him screaming, he's going to kill me, he's going to kill me. And I unzip the tent, okay, and for me, probably to these computers right here, there's a polar bear, 10 foot tall, on his hind legs like this, okay, and Mark is swinging his shovel trying to keep the distance from the polar bear, and his pants are down by his ankles. And I am just going, oh my God, you know, he's going to kill him. You know, the polar bear, one swat, he'd probably be like 30 or 40 feet away with a big gouge, gouge out of him because they're so powerful and so strong. I grabbed a gun. I'm not the, we have a regular vestibule. I'm, I'm not the gun guy. I'm just, I don't think I could shoot. I don't know, even if it was attacking me, I'm not sure I could shoot it. You know, I'm sure I could, but I just, I'm, I have issues with it. So Peter's the gun guy. He gets out of the sleep bag and he grabs the gun and basically, he, it was so, it was minus 50, and he grabbed the metal of the gun and he ripped about 10 layers of skin off his hands. So he's screaming, Mark's screaming, he ends up. I tell kids that we just shot the gun in the air, but we had to kill a bear. You know, and it was really close. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, Mark's crying, Peter's crying, and I didn't sleep.